Hey guys, I'm the 50s kid. This is my E46 BMW. The lock and unlock keys on my remote stopped working a little while ago. As far as why, it's a long story. I'll put that in another video. But suffice it to say, I've been having to use the key to lock and unlock the car lately, and now that's broken as well. Um, it's just a little piece that kind of snaps inside and you can get a, re a repair kit for it on eBay for like six bucks, which I have done. So I'm going to show you how to get the lock out in this video and how to repair it. It's really easy. So let's get started. All right, guys, on the inside of the door right here, there's this little, this is what this looks like right here. You just kind of pry this little cap out with a screwdriver and you don't have to take this out, but I found it a little easier. That just pops out and you can see there's a bolt right there. It's a number four, four millimeter, I should say, Allen head. And the bolt doesn't come out all the way. You just unscrew it. So now that it's unscrewed, you can actually use your key and kind of get the lock out. Cool. Okay, so I've already had this lock out before um, just to inspect it and figure out what was wrong. So uh, there's a roll pin that usually goes right here and I seem to have lost it and I forgot to pick up some replacements. The new lock kit looks like this, by the way, it does not come with one, which is kind of a bummer, but no big deal. You know, I'll find one and kind of stick it in. But in order to get it out, you just grab it with the pliers. It's right here in this little hole. Just grab it with the pliers and pull it out. No big deal. That allows this piece to, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, so that piece won't slide out unless the lock is there. I think until the lock is there, let's see. And everything goes flying. So, as you see, this is actually, yours is going to be covered with a lot of grease, by the way. So let me just get my key out of this thing. I might not want to, okay. So as we can see, this is the piece that broke. This is the piece that's just down in there. And I believe one other little piece just went flying. I got new ones, but I'd rather, I'd rather use the old stuff. All right, so this is the little piece that went flying. These are, this is everything that came in the kit, the rebuild kit. Also, this went flying too, we gotta find that. Or did it go flying? Maybe it didn't. Let's see here. Oh yeah, okay, it didn't go flying. It's still there, it's right here. So that's gonna stay. So don't need that. I have one of these already. I'm gonna keep it, I think, so don't need that. I'll locate this. I'm sure now that I know this is what went flying, I'll go find that. The key part, the part that breaks is this right here. And you can see they sent two different options. You see how this, this end has these little keys down here, these little, these little nubs or whatever. So you can see how they're in different positions, the, the little thing. That is, I believe, for either a left hand or a right hand car because the key would turn forward or backward to unlock or unlock. So just take your piece, which here's the broken piece, and just figure out whatever orientation you were in. So here's my broken piece, and it looks to me like this is the one that I need, not that one. So I'll set that aside. This is now my new piece that is going to go into here. All right, here's how it fits together. You need to start off with it looking like that, with this little, with the, the little hump that has the line through it faces down like that. Take this little part, it fits in there. Those three grooves on the top, only goes in one way. Make sure it goes all the way down so it's flush right there. So then we're gonna take this little part, the part that breaks, and We'll pop that in this way. What, one thing you gotta notice about this part is, see how, okay, see how there's, uh, there's a little, it, it's higher in the back than it is in the front right here. 
that's that end, the, the, the part that goes high, that's higher fits there on the outside here where this open area is. So that's how that goes. The spring is going to go in. Well, actually, before we put the spring in, let me just show you that you're going to put the spring in. We're, we'll put the spring in. We're going to push this part down so that this is aligned with the little keyway there. And then we're going to slide this in so that it locks everything in. Okay. That's how, that's how it's going to go. But of course we're going to have to press the spring in there. Now the spring will go such that the bottom end hooks on and stops up against there. And then we need to get the top end and we're going to need to compress it. We're going to need to turn it this way so that it comes past right here. So that right there is the tricky part. And we'll probably need to use a little tool to do that. I saw someone use a ballpoint pen to do this. Just grab onto it, push it that way. That actually works really well. <laughs> so I think it's best if we do it this way. Ah, let's try again. Grab this. Okay. I'll smash this down. Slip that in. Okay, I made it look real easy, but it's pretty difficult. So now put this in and test it. And that feels right. So, of course, the problem now is I need to get some grease in there. And I also need to get a roll pin. Uh, I did go and grab some from Harbor Freight. Just, uh, just grab these. Looked like it had the right size. Well, it has a little bag of tiny ones. And if I'm not mistaken, one of these, this would be the size. So I'll put that in last after I get some grease in there. And I'm just going to use, I've got wheel bearing grease, any kind of grease, just regular old grease will work too. This is just what I have. Okay. I cannot locate my grease gun. So what I'm probably going to do is pull this back apart, grease the parts lightly, not the spring. And uh, I'll get that spring back in there get everything back in. But you've seen how that goes. So I'm just going to do that. It was actually much easier than I thought to get this back together with uh, when it was all greased up. The spring, once you have the spring pulled over with the pen and, and stuck on this peg, it, it'll kind of stay in there somewhat. Um, you can just hook the back end of the spring on that little on that little indent that this thing slides through. So that was kind of helpful. And, uh, and I just compressed it down and put it in like before, like you saw. And here's the roll pin that I've got. It might be a little too long. I've got it started in there already. So it looks like I can't get it any further than that. I'll go see if I can put that in. If not, um, I'll probably cut the, the end off of that with a little, with a little saw or something or snip it off probably. <laughs> yeah, actually let's do that. All right. Let's get my side cutters. Cool. Easy enough. So yeah, and that's just to prevent this from popping off. Now let's get this on the car. Okay, I want to go ahead and test that inner mechanism, make sure it's aligned properly. That's lock and that's unlock. So I had it right. It needs to be in that north, south, east, west sort of configuration, which kind of matches the keyway because uh, that's, that's the way it's going to go in. So I'll just kind of slip that in there. All right, let's give it a test. 
lock, unlock, lock, unlock. That looks great. All right, let's just go ahead and tighten that screw. And pop this little plastic piece back in. Both of these little plastic pieces. Boom, all done. All right, it works. That's all I really care about. Thanks for watching.